I literally just got back from what was probably the hardest dance lesson of my entire life. So I do look kind of like a sweaty egg. I like to start off this video with a disclaimer. I am not a medical professional, therapist, or in any way qualified to give you health advice. I am talking from my own experience of recovering from anorexia and in learning to accept my body. Everyone's eating disorder and everyone's recovery journey looks different. My advice may not resonate with you and it may not work. So earlier today, I posted this little video of basically me just waffling on about body acceptance and that sort of thing. I think people often group body acceptance and body positivity together. I guess they are kind of the same concept, but at the same time, they're very different. So there probably is like a Google definition that I can just like pop up here, but I understand it as body acceptance is like having unconditional love and respect for your body regardless of how you feel about it. In short, there might be a particular insecurity that you have about your body and you might not be super confident in your body but you accept it and you love it for how it is now and you appreciate everything that it can do for you rather than strive for absolutely loving every single bit of you and being super confident. For me, the like being body positive is quite unrealistic and I think it is for a lot of people and I don't think that there's any shame in saying that I don't love my body every single day. I don't have loads of confidence and I don't wake up every single morning and go, wow Millie you're so hot but i'm trying to work on waking up every single morning and being grateful for a body that has literally been by my side every single day of my life that is a really good place to start your body has kept you alive every single day of your life i have no idea how old you are but i 15 years that is a lot of days editing millie is going to calculate how many days that is and then just plop it up here I'm getting really into like these little effects where I just pop things up on the screen, I'm loving it. Yeah, that is a lot of days and that is even more seconds and every single one of those seconds my body has been working to keep me alive. I haven't always been grateful for that, I haven't always been nice to my body, I haven't always thanked it for doing that. Even on all the days where I really haven't treated it well, all the days where I've deprived it of food, I've deprived it of water, deprived it of sleep, all of those days it's kept going despite that. I like to think that even though I haven't always loved my body, my body has always loved me. The least I can do is respect it. I think that's easier said than done, but yeah that is definitely the first step. Finding that respect and for me body acceptance is accepting the fact that I'm not going to wake up every day and look in the mirror and think wow I look so hot today. It's accepting the fact that I'm going to have good body image days and not good body image days but realising that the problem isn't actually with my body because if the problem was with my body the way I felt about it wouldn't change. If the problem was actually with my body I wouldn't have more confidence on some days than I would the other. I think body acceptance is about even on those days where I'm really not feeling good about my body still treating it with respect and still giving it the food that it needs and giving it the water that it needs because I have a mutual respect for it even if I don't love it. I think that body acceptance in recovery can be hard especially if you've had an eating disorder that has been focused on the way that your body looks aesthetically because at some point during your eating disorder your body has been your whole world and you've been in control of it and now all that control has been taken away from you but the thing is for me even at my very lowest weight I still wasn't body positive I still wasn't strutting around stark naked and thinking wow I look amazing and that just shows that the problem isn't actually with my body I think that's the second step the problem isn't your body the problem is the way you perceive your body. Weight gain is always going to be tough, especially if you're in recovery from an eating disorder that made you want to lose weight. I think that with the weight gain, you don't have to love it, but you have to kind of accept it for what it is because that weight gain is actually what is going to give you your life back. Sure, you might not love how it looks, but you can at least think about and you love everything that it's given you the ability to do. So yes, although my body is a lot bigger now than it was during my eating disorder, I now have the ability to safely run and dance and improve at those things. I can take part in those things that I love without it being absolute torture for my body because I'm respecting it 
by feeding it. And I know you might think recovery won't be worth it for looking like however you think you're going to look once you've put on however many pounds you need to put on to get to a point where your body is happy and healthy but the thing is recovery is about so much more than just that weight gain recovery is about getting your life back and it's about opportunities to do things and experience things that won't ever be possible if you choose to stick with your eating disorder now this weight gain is what has given me freedom this weight gain is what has given me freedom to be able to run and dance and exercise and do all of those things that my body needs energy for but also to just be able to lead a normal life and be a normal teenager and go out with my friends and have sleepovers and not think about food every single minute of every single day and just be spontaneous and eat random meals at random time and it means that in September I can go off to school and I can do full days at school and be trusted and right now if you're still in the process of recovery and you're struggling with the amount of weight that you've put on I know it might feel like it's not worth it and I was there too. I immediately jumped straight into a relapse. What wasn't worth it was relapsing. What you need to do is just hold on, hold on for that freedom because recovery will bring it. I got to a point where I was weight restored and my body was healthy, but I hadn't yet got to a point where I was able to do all of those amazing things that recovery has brought me. So I backtracked because I thought, well, this weight gain isn't worth it. And the second time round of weight restoring, I stuck with it, even though I absolutely hated my body. Just take this from someone who has felt exactly how you're feeling now, like there's no point recovering and that being the size that you are or being the size that you're going to have to be once your weight restored will be the worst thing in the world. Trust me, it won't be because maybe at the moment your weight and shape is your whole world, but recovery makes your world so much bigger and you just have to hold on for that. So if you imagine a pie chart during your eating disorder, what you look like probably takes up a large percentage of the pie chart and then once you've given recovery a chance and you've got to a point where your world's well starting to open back up that segment of the pie chart that is taken up by obsession with weight and shape just shrinks it might not happen straight away but it will and over time what you look like isn't going to be your whole world and yes it will still be there because we're brought up in a society where the way we look is deemed important so of course you're still going to have those hang-ups, of course you're not going to absolutely love your body, but it's not going to be the absolute end of the world that you don't look however it is that you're aspiring to be because your pie chart is filled with so many other amazing things that just wouldn't be possible if you dedicated your entire life to just how you look. Something that really helped me when I was starting my weight gain journey was getting rid of all of the clothes that I knew weren't going to fit me once I was in my new healthier body. And that was really hard because some of those clothes I absolutely loved. But you're worth so much more than just a pair of trousers or a skirt or a top or whatever your favourite item of clothing is that you can't bear to part with. Your life is worth so much more than that. And clothes are meant to fit you you're not meant to fit the clothes and it's not worth sacrificing the rest of your life and your freedom and your happiness just so you can say that you're a certain size or that you fit into a certain pair of trousers like it's just not worth it part of body acceptance in recovery is accepting the fact that you are going to grow out of clothes but accepting the fact that that's okay and that's actually really exciting because since i fully committed to recovery i've basically got a whole new wardrobe and that's really exciting because in recovery anyway i feel like you're really start to find yourself because you're starting to explore your identity outside of the eating disorder so you might find that your style totally changes anyway or you want to express yourself in a different way that's a really nice way of showing respect for your body buying clothes that fit and buying clothes that you feel comfortable in not buying clothes that you have to lose a certain amount of weight so you fit into them or not buying clothes that make your body image worth another part of accepting your body another part of accepting your body in recovery is getting getting rid of the whole idea of weight maintenance. If you're with eating disorder services, I know for me anyway, I was on a weight gain meal plan and then I was on a maintenance meal plan. And every single time that I've gone through the weight gain process, it's actually gone really well because your objective is almost to eat as much as possible. And then you'll put on this maintenance plan. And I was then petrified of going over the meal plan because I thought, 
Well, if I eat over it, then I'm going to continue to gain weight. And what if I never stop gaining weight? Although meal plans can be really helpful in the start of recovery, especially if your hunger signals have totally been messed up, I think at some point you do have to step away from the meal plan and trust in your body. And by giving it unconditional permission to eat, that is another way of showing respect for it. It's like saying, I'm going to trust you. I'm going to let whatever happens happen and I'm going to accept that. That's not full recovery where you're scared to put on a pound. It's not full recovery where although your weight restored you're still having to fight to maintain that weight. Bodies are meant to change, bodies are meant to grow and develop and they're not meant to stay at the same weight for our whole lives because that's just unrealistic. The maintenance thing is definitely something that I've struggled with but I think that that very quickly becomes a form of restriction and can send you spiralling into a relapse and then you haven't built up that mutual respect between like your brain and your body and I think that's a big part of body acceptance, listening to your body and if it's saying I'm hungry then you say okay I'm going to respect that hunger signal and I'm going to honour that hunger signal rather than ignoring it. The first time I started weight restoring, it was very much forced upon me. I definitely wasn't in a mindset that I wanted to gain weight. I wasn't in a mindset that I wanted to recover. And I think that that's the first thing that you have to get past in recovery from an eating disorder. I don't think it is recovery or can be called recovery until the person suffering from an eating disorder has decided that they want to get better for themselves. Because if the eating disorder sufferer hasn't said, yeah, I want to get better, yes, you can make them put on the weight, but they're not going to be able to accept their healthy body because mentally they're still in the exact same place. If this sounds like you and it sounds like weight gain and like recovery has been forced upon you just to hold on i know you're probably just waiting for any opportunity to relapse but what you need to do now is just focus on your mentality and the way you think about your body and how you look rather than associating recovery with just gaining weight or eating because it's so much more than that i am at a heavier weight now than i ever have been in my life and yet i'm also the happiest with myself than i've ever been in my life and i've think that just goes to show that the way you perceive yourself is about so much more than what size jeans you wear. I think that as you progress further into your recovery journey where you're starting to get certain freedoms back like being able to go to school or engaging in whatever hobbies you were engaged in before your eating disorder you need to start trying to rediscover or discover for the first time that identity outside of your eating disorder and I think that's a really big part of being able to accept your body. Like what I was saying about the pie chart, what you look like stops being your whole identity and you find other things. And so the segment that is focused on weight and shape is a lot smaller. If you only take one thing from this video, I want it to be that recovery is worth it and it's worth holding on for even if right now you're absolutely hating recovery and you want nothing more than to relapse please please don't no one who has fully recovered from their eating disorder has ever regretted it basically recovery will be worth it the weight gain will be worth it even if it doesn't feel like it you just need to give it a bit longer recovery takes time the very first time that i was forced to start weight restoring was nearly a year ago now and the past year there have been so many ups and downs and even now, I'm still not at a point where my body image is perfect, but I'm getting to a point where I no longer feel like if I wake up and have a bad body image day, my body needs to be punished for that because I realise it's not my body's fault that I'm having a bad body image day. It's actually what's going on at Pip and my body still deserves food and it still deserves love regardless of how I feel about it when I look in the mirror. What you look like is probably the least interesting thing about you. None of your friends and none of your family love you because you're a certain size or a certain weight or you look a certain way. They just don't. They love you for you. And the most you you'll ever be is a recovered version of you, not a version of you that is totally consumed by an eating disorder. To be honest, your family just want you back. They're unconditionally accepting of your body. So why shouldn't you be? I think when you stop trying to control and manipulate your body and the way it looks is when you finally start to build an actual happy, healthy relationship with your body. You need to stop fighting against it and start working with it. So some activities that you could do now that I know 
year that I've done in the past that really helped me were actually drawing out the pie charts and drawing out what the pie chart looked like during your eating disorder, whether that was mostly your appearance or being in control or in punishing yourself, whatever was the driving force behind your eating disorder, put how much brain space and of your identity that took up and then draw what you want your life to look like once you're fully recovered and how much you want to care about how you look and how much you want other things to take its place like spending time with family or friends or with animals or a sport that you do or a hobby that you have. Another thing you can do is write down everything that you're gaining besides weight, everything that recovery is going to bring you. Also every day if you're into journaling you can write down just one thing that you're grateful for your body for doing for you that day. It could just be like breathing. Another thing I just want you to think about, I feel like we all know that one person and we're so, so jealous of their body and yet they're so insecure about themselves and it's frustrating to look at and I'm sure you've thought, if I looked like that, I'd never be insecure. I can't understand why they're insecure. And I think that just shows that it's actually not about your body. Because if that person has what you perceive to be the perfect body, why would they be insecure about it? I think you need to stop blaming your body for your insecurities and start challenging them within your brain. It's not your body's fault that you don't like your thighs or your arms or your stomach. So you don't need to punish your body for having that particular feature that you don't like. You don't need to deprive it of anything. You accept that that is how your thighs or your arms look and over time then it will stop being as important. When you stick with recovery your world gets so much bigger and then the fact that you had to go up a size in your dance leotard it just doesn't matter as much anymore. Because of the weight that I've gained it means that I'm able to dance and during my eating disorder I wasn't able to. Now I'm strong and fit and I'm fueling my body. I'm a better dancer than I ever have been. If I put on a pair of jeans right now and they didn't fit anymore yeah of course I'd be like upset and of course I'd get those disordered thoughts but I wouldn't act on them because my body doesn't need to be punished for taking up space my body doesn't need to have food taken away from it just because it no longer fits into a piece of fabric when you think of it like that you realize just how stupid it is to be so cruel to something that has kept you alive for how many years you've been alive for the way I treat my body and the self-respect and acceptance that I have for my body isn't good going to change based on what size jeans I buy. Also I feel like I've already said this multiple times but you are so much more than your weight, you're so much more than your size, your BMI, what you look like, you're so much more than just a body and you're so much more than your eating disorder. Your eating disorder isn't going to be your whole life forever and you don't have to keep a hold of that identity or that look. You're gaining so much more than weight and although right now you might miss your old body, once you're fully recovered you'll realise that you don't miss the life that came with your old body and it's not worth sacrificing everything that you've gained in recovery just to look a certain way. Also accepting the fact that your body is forever. You're always going to have a body and yet beauty standards are always going to change. It's unrealistic to expect to be able to manipulate and force your body into a beauty standard that is literally going to change in a few years time anyway. You have to work on accepting your body in spite of what is currently fashionable. Your body is so much more than just a fashion trend. Thank you so much for watching. I'm really sorry I haven't been uploading on YouTube regularly. I am going to try and get back to it. If you have any video suggestions or any questions, just let me know in the comments. I'm more than happy to film more videos like this where I just sit down and talk or more videos showing you what I eat, my everyday life, whatever you guys want to see. I am more than happy to film. I hope you are all enjoying your summer or winter, I guess, if you're in Australia. But yeah, I hope you're all well. I'm sending you lots of love.